VTube face cam duo. Okay, so I've made some changes to my uh, to my setup here um, at home, and I've discovered that when originally I set up this avatar, I actually set it up in the current position I have it now. So um, I can actually like frown. I can do like this face where like I'm like a little upset. I can do like a full on frown. Um, it it actually picks up my expressions better, which really kind of makes it weird. Um, and I saw somebody recently on a YouTube short talking about how like they use a um, uh, an Apple uh, iPhone webcam to like use the face recognition software on that. But like if it updates, it might be a problem. And I was just like, well, maybe I could create, you know, face rec software. And then I stopped myself and went, I would need so many people to just submit video for me to train an AI to recognize people's faces. Because that's what I'd be doing. I would be getting into AI. And I was like, I don't know if I'm, I think I want to make a game first before I get into AI. Because if I get into AI, like, there are good applications of AI, and one of them could be face tracking for VTubing. Um, I actually don't have a problem with AI in quotations art, as long as it is the artist that is using it. Uh, so if like the AI was trained on the art, I would have no problem with an artist using an AI to refactor their work to give them sort of new ideas, new expressions, new thoughts, um, just to, to you know, rework their work and then go, oh yeah, I could do something like that. And then to go and take that image that it creates as a reference and remake it. I don't think anything that, that an AI creates should ever be copyrightable, but I think that for a tool for artists, it could be very useful for, for uh, an intermittent stage of like seeing what a work could come out to and then looking at it and going no i could draw that better you know and and taking a look because a lot of times and this is just me with my personal artwork like once i'm, I'm at the end of it um i can look back at it and go dang i really wish i did something different and if i had an ai that could do the bulk of the work make me look at it and go okay so this is what i want to do this is what the the ai has has said it would look like but i actually have a different idea for this and then go from there i have no problem with that um same thing for for writers really you know like, dang, this, I don't really know, like, what to really write for this chapter. So you just put in the characters, like, what they've done previously, or you train it on your previous work, and you go, what would be a logical solution to happen next, right? And it writes this out. So then you write, take a look at the next chapter that's been pre-written, and you go, you know what? I like the premise, and I've read through it, and it's, like, very good self-made fanfiction. Why don't I just go and, and, um make that myself, you know, I'll just, why don't I just go rewrite the whole chapter from the scratch with this new inspirational idea that has been generated by, by an AI, and I can go from there. I have no problem with that, right? As long as you're not just taking the original work and editing it a little bit, because it's kind of like, well, I mean, the, the AI can only sort of plagiarize, if that makes sense. Um, it, it can only refactor what's already been done. It can only, only really take someone else's work and, and um, rework it, really, and, and, and kind of like edit it in, in a sense of like Photoshop, right? Like you can Photoshop a, an image, but it's still, the, the original image is still owned, if that makes any sense. So it's like, if you're, if you're, um, if you're, but even then you can't even, even in a sense say that it's been um, plagiarized because if it's your own work, you can't plagiarize yourself, right? So you could technically speaking, make an argument for that. But I just think that like, we shouldn't let AI um, get in the way of the creative process, you know, it shouldn't, shouldn't be, it shouldn't be used to give creators an easy out, but it should be used as a tool to assist them. It's kind of like with digital art, you know, um, yes, it moved people, a lot of artists away from physical medium, but if you weren't making a lot of money, the physical medium costs a lot. So maybe moving into, you know, digital is a little bit cheaper and I don't have a problem with that because it's a tool, um, and it still takes effort to, to create. And I think that AI should be used as a tool for inspiration, but should not be used as a tool for creation, if that makes any sense. Um, that's just my personal take on that. Um, and I will always talk about tech this way, just because I think tech is... Exactly, it should be a tool, not a replacement. And, and that, that's that's another thing, is is that works both for like industry and for the artists themselves. You shouldn't be using AI to replace yourself as the creator. Um, and businesses shouldn't be trying to use AI to replace yourself as the creator. AI has some some very useful, uh, um, 
has some very useful applications, like in facial recognition and in like pattern recognition. So it could be a very useful tool to sort of point out things that that especially like say in, in like view of security software, it can be very useful to point out like a, a chat pattern of, of uh, behavioral change that might, you know, want uh, put a um, uh, sort of security personnel on notice that like, hey, this person's been here X amount of times, but now they're doing this differently. And so this is slightly suspicious activity and that, you know, just keep an eye on this person. And, you know, in a security sense, if you're thinking about like mall security or like, you know, um, site security, then like it could run into issues with it being uh, considered a profiling tool, which is of course what you don't want. But then again, if you're looking at a situation of security in the sense of like an old folks home or a mental hospital where someone is starting to uh, exhibit erratic behavior and the AI is designed to pick up on this, and it does pick up on this, it can direct security personnel and even doctors to be like, hey, it appears this person may be having an issue. Um, and you know, it would be advised to, to maybe talk with them or remove them from this situation. Uh, because there's a lot of times in life where, like, it could even be used to, to help, um, like, parents of kids who are neurodivergent and have sensitivity issues, you know, to, to alert them. But it's like, hey, your kid is developed is dis, uh, displaying signs of, of overstimulation, and it might be a good idea to, to remove them from this situation type thing, you know? It, it has positive uses, but of course, with any tool, it can always be misused. And so I will always refer to AI as, like, a gun. Um... There are many types of guns out there. We, we actually have many, um, sort of the, the classification of, uh, of gun can be loosely brought down to uh, any device with a, uh, a trigger and, and or uh, a handle that is capable of launching a projectile, right? So we have many uses for guns. We have nail guns, you have, um, uh, you have paint guns, which, you know, spray paint, but technically it's still considered a gun. Um, you have, uh, of course, tranquilizer darts and, and guns like that that can be used in, in largely non-lethal ways. Um, you have, of course, uh, speed guns and tagging guns because those things fire out lasers and technically uh, firing light particulate is, well, because photons are still considered to be um, uh, particulate, even though they act more like a wave, so it, it's, it's kind of an energy form as well. Um, but they're still considered, so energy weapons still fall under guns. Um, so all those things basically fire out lasers, and, 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 you know, those are considered guns. But then, of course, you have actual guns, like firearms, that, you know, fire projectiles to kill people. Um, and even paintball markers, yep. Um, uh, you even have code guns. Um, so if you're, uh, and this is available to the military, and it might come to the police as well. Um, if someone is using a drone to spy on someone, and someone goes, hey, I want that drone taken down, um, the police can basically come out, or, you know, military in, in a sense, can come out and they have uh, a gun that fires a localized um, burst of code to uh, disrupt the uh, the drone and cause it to fall. Um, the, these, these all are things that exist and can be helpful tools. Um, and even in the case of, of firearms, they can be helpful tools for hunting, for um, even like flare guns and stuff like that. Like those are useful for, for finding people. Um, Firearms have, have a number of usage. They can also be used to make loud noises, so you can fire blanks that uh, can be used to scare off uh, large predators. Like, guns have tool use, but of course, we all know how the misuse of guns go. People get killed. People will kill other people. It's the same thing with knives or with pretty much any other tool. It can be misused. Um, and so I think that, like, especially with AI, because it can be used to, say for someone like me, if uh, because I have my face online, um, and I have, um, my voice online. And AI can be trained on my voice, it can be used to impersonate me. Uh, especially with this avatar being creative use, um, because I, I do allow that, I just uh, require that people, um, accredit me for, uh, the making of, of the avatar that I did, and any avatars that I do make will, of course, all be, uh, creative use as well. Like, you can pay me for it, but at the end of the day, um, when, when I release it, the product is fair use to be, to be used. Um, so if someone pays me like, hey, I want you to make an avatar for my character, sure, but you're going to have to agree that once it's released to you and after it's been like, you know, paid to get done because you're paying me to, to do a very specific work, um, it is going to be Creative Commons and it's going to be able to be used by other people. Um, it's, if they want to pull it apart and, and use certain parts, they have the absolute ability to do that. Um, and if they want to, to you know, um, say, take your, your character and, and put them in, in a funny situation, they can. They could even take them and put them in a pornographic situation. 
all of that I would completely allow because I don't agree with sort of intellectual property laws. That's that's not something that I'm that I'm um, happy with. I guess uh, I believe that when you create a good technology, you should allow other people to uh, modify and use it, and even potentially make money off of that modification. Um, because we live in a world where the resources are finite, and even when it comes to creation and what we can, you know, think of and create, um, if we copyright everything in the world today, there will be no advancement tomorrow. Because um, if you think up of every possible way to make a spaceship, then no one will ever make a spaceship. Um, especially not someone who could have, you know, made something that would have been potentially really good and, you know, had a lot of technology, but if they can't, um, you know, create a design of a spaceship to go into space, then what's the point of copyright? And especially when copyrights and tools eventually fall out after 80 years, do we really want to be capping ourselves to copywriting everything in the world just for it to become uncopyrightable 80 years later? Or are we really just putting a stopgap of our progress as a society for 80 years while uh, we wait for it to become fair use? I mean, the thing is, is that uh, the, the fair use license that I, I have um, is, I need to post this. Um, the fair use license that I have does require uh, accreditation, and so if you don't credit me for my for my work, then I can come after you, um, because you're you're not saying where you got it from or where you got the the uh, the information from, um, and that's kind of what that that allows. Because um, I do believe that artists should be accredited for their work, and I don't care if you want to use this avatar in say like your own visual novel. Um, if you want to make like a, a lesser-known VTuber visual novel with the idea of um, putting someone like me uh, in a weird romanceable situation, go for it. Um, if that makes people money, that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, all I s would like to say is that like I as an individual am gay and I prefer women, um, but if you want to stick me in a male romance, I like if it's gonna make you money and you're gonna make a good job of it, or even just a bad job of it, I don't care. Just if you don't accredit me for my work and for what I've done and for what I've put in, then of course I'm going to come after you because I deserve that credit. Even if I dislike the way that you have portrayed me, I still deserve the credit for the work that I made. Like, I think the one thing that we've lost as a society is that people are allowed to have opinions of other people. Um, But yeah, like, people are allowed to have opinions of other people, and you cannot always like the opinions people have of you, but that doesn't mean that you should go after them or attack them for those opinions. If anything, you should be working harder to show them who you are to change their opinion. And the only way that you can do that is by showing people your actions. You know, um, I've kind of learned in life that, like, screaming at people and yelling at people, it's sure, it does feel good in the moment, but it's not going to solve your issue. Like, you're still going to end up getting hated by a lot of people. Like, you're only going to create more of a a, uh, a bad image to yourself um, because people don't react to anger and outrage and yelling with you know the the, the the desire to learn it we're emotional beings at least most of us are um, we entrench ourselves when when stuff like that happens um, we we um, where is it when when we're angry, and upset when we're frustrated and when we're yelling at someone, it doesn't make us, it doesn't make the, the other person um, more open to changing their, their, the way that they act, their opinions, uh, and, and how they are as people. It entrenches them. Um, it, uh, it causes them to dig in and dig down and also just believe that they're correct because you're not willing to be, um, you know, in their minds, reasonable. Um, and for a lot of opposition against uh, trans people, that is 100% the goal, is to make you angry and upset to show that you're in quotations, and I don't necessarily agree with this because not everyone who's angry is unreasonable, but that you're unreasonable, easily upset, and you know, prone to, to um, big outbursts. And so with that in mind, you know, whenever someone comes at me, um, and I've gotten angry on one or two occasions, and I regret those occasions. And I even have posts online that are exemplary of that. I don't remove them because, yes, I said that. I got angry, and I should have handled that situation better. I didn't. Um, I, I learn and I move on. Um, and so this, is, this isn't like something that I've always believed in. I've just kind of come to believe it over time. But basically, you change people's mind by showing them who you are, not by 
yelling at them about how wrong they are. If someone's gonna believe that, you know, a trans woman like me shouldn't exist, fine. I will give you every reason to show you why I should. Um, if you don't believe that, that, that I am who I say that I am, I will give you every reason to believe that I am who I say I am by just being me, showing you how happy I am now, today. I, I'm much more happier of a person than even the people who grew up with me, who watched me uh, go through elementary school and high school, have looked at me and went, so this is who you really are. Because it seems a lot better. It, 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 I sound a lot better. I, and by sound a lot better, I don't mean like my voice. I mean like I just, the way that I talk, the way that I, I interact, the way that I take joy and smile, it makes me as a person seem a lot happier. And even the people that don't, that I grew up with, that don't agree with who, with sort of how I've come to be, um, they still admit that it's a positive change. Even if they don't agree with what I'm doing, I've still changed for the better. Um, and once again, that, that just goes to show that, you know, your actions will always speak louder than words. Um, people listen to emotion more than they listen to reason. So if you can combine both and you can give someone sort of the, the emotion and the action to see who you are, then they're going to form their own opinions. And, and from there, they will listen to your reasons why, but they're not going to listen to your reasons until after they've seen both. So I will choose to be a person that tries to interact with bigotry with humor um, and tries to disprove uh, as many of the negative stereotypes as I can in, in the course of my life. Because the more that I'm not a point in their rhetoric, the more I as a person um, am uh, a, a point of discredit, if that makes any sense. Like you've you've got to you've got to embody, you've got to embody your beliefs. Um, you can't just just yell them. You've got to embody them. And so for me, that means you know keeping trying to keep track of my local government and uh, everything that's happening. And when I see something that I don't like, I show up um, wherever I can. Uh, the easy ones are of course pride. Um, there were a couple last year that I missed uh, that were counter protests. Um, ideally, in the future, I'd like to make those counter protests. I would I would like to. Uh, see what people are, are creating and coming up with and show up because It's not enough in life to, to sit at a computer and 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 talk because this is just words um, at the end of the day It's your actions that count and so I Will try to do what I can to showcase my actions I am mostly an online individual largely because I am a bit of an introvert But that doesn't necessarily mean that even online there aren't visible actions you can take or can't take that wouldn't sort of benefit you in that way. And so one of the actions that I take is I stream. Um, I try to set up this this uh, uh, friendly, fun stream because at the end of the day, we're people. Um, and any record of these streams, which of course I've, I've put up on YouTube, any record of these streams that survives literally just proves, I guess, my point that I'm not, um, I'm not what people I'm not what my opposition in life says I am. Because here's me online doing none of the things that they accuse me of. That's all I can do. That's, that's all I can do. All I can do is live my life in a way that disproves people for uh, what they accuse me of. And I've been accused of a lot. I've, I've been falsely accused of a lot. Uh, mostly online, never, never in a legal system. Um, largely because I obey the laws around me and I try to change things in other ways. Um, I know that in places in the world it's going to come to a point and it may eventually reach Canada in my lifetime, um, that the legal routes may no longer be sufficient. And that is a day that I hope never comes. Um, because that, that, that is a day of true failure in uh, society when um, actions like mass protest are required. Uh, and I'm not saying that protesting in Canada is illegal, it's just 
I'm saying that there are protest actions that are uh, like blocking highways and um, blocking access to places that are technically by their nature illegal because you're, you're blocking thoroughfare. Um, but those actions may become necessary. And if those actions are becoming necessary, then that is a failing in society. And it's time sort of for everyone, and I do mean everyone, uh, to sort of stop and think, and I'm talking about not just the people observing the protest, but the people in the protest, to kind of stop and think while these actions are taking place and go, what is it that I'm fighting for after this? Because ultimately, it's not enough to just have equality. What, what, what do you want to come after equality? What do you want to come after? Um, you know, you, you succeed in, in regaining the, the rights for people like you, for, for being treated equal. What, what, what's the goal after that, right? The goal cannot just be just that. It has to be, what are we doing after, right? And in today's society, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, if we can achieve equality today, what I would like to see is a society that no longer bases people's value based on the, the uh, amount of money that they can make. Um, I, I think that that's, that's a poor way to, to judge an individual person, and it's a way that we in, in capitalism tend to judge a lot of people. Um, I think that in society, I would love to see a government that takes care of the people, and in turn, the people take care of the government. Um, if that makes any sense, that's kind of what taxation systems are all for. You know, the, the idea is, is that the government taxes you for what you make, and in turn, you're basically uh, um, working to, to sort of, for the betterment, betterment of society. Uh, what we've had happen today, especially in, in the United States, but also in Canada, is um, the reliance of, of taking care of the people has fallen to the companies and the private businesses. Um, to sort of disseminate, 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 to kind of um, give the give the cash to the people uh, for for what they're worth. However, that's not really what's happening in society. It, it, it's the theory of how capitalism works. You know that the government is the one that prints the money, and the private businesses are the ones that um, employ people, so that when the private businesses sell to uh, um, sort of like the the, the government um, through various uh, outlets that essentially the government pays them and then they pay their workers and it's that whole process, you know? Um, however, in, in this day and age, that doesn't really happen uh, all that much. Um, the institutions that are given the money to disseminate are either underutilized or um, who they're being sold to or bought from isn't, uh, um, isn't letting that cash flow downward like it's supposed to. Um, because the, the whole idea of capitalism was based on the idea of trickle-down economics, right? Like, if you have a, uh, if the country's in need, say, for example, for resources to, to uh, fund building better homes, then, you know, the government puts up programs to be like, hey, if you're a building company and you want to um, get this, this sort of uh, money stipend from the government, um, you build a building and we'll pay you X amount. Um, and that's kind of how... Generally, the, the, the economy kind of works in general with government. Um, of course, they tax people to get the money back, that kind of thing, for the, the whole thing, is the whole thing is supposed to be a cycle. Um, but of course, with the world economy, things change a little bit, so of course there's going to be a little bit of give and take, rise and fall. But when, when we run into the issue is where the, the middle person for all of that isn't doing their part. And that's kind of where we are today. We're, um, oh, I just diffed that all over my desk. Me and gesturing with my hands when I have a uh, tea. Oh no, okay, uh, give me one second. I, I, I did a quite a large spill. One moment. Okay, whoops, that's gonna probably leave a stain in the mat, and at some point I'm gonna have to cold wash this. Um, yeah, no, so, like, that's that's kind of how, like, economies are supposed to generally work. It's the general theory behind it, you know? Government prints, buys product that it needs to, to operate its other divisions of government, um, 
that money gets trickled down to the people, the people and the businesses all pay taxes that sort of go back to the government. It's, it's a cycle of, of money exchange. But what happens is when you have a break in any of that uh, chain where someone is able to make more than what they're putting out, um, you end up in a situation where like the money is finite, right? Like it, it's, you need a, a perfect system to deal with uh, finite resources. And capitalism is a good system, but it's not a perfect one, which means it will eventually fail. And that's kind of what we're seeing today, especially with economic crashes and stuff like that. Those are evidence of, of capitalistic failure. You know, anytime the market gyps down and people are unable to make enough to, to, to live comfortably, um, those are capitalistic failures. And that just means that, you know, we need to reinvent the system or change the system so that it works better. And over time, you're going to come to realize that, you know, the system may no longer be capitalistic. And that's not a bad thing. It just means that it changed with the people, because capitalism definitely works small scale. But we've had capitalism for a couple hundred years now. And we have a lot more people in the world. And that means that the amount of resources for everyone, for the individual, has gone down. So uh, you, we need to adjust. And that adjustment is always going to seem like an attack on people who have more than others, right? Because the more the more that you try to make it so that everyone has more, the more that um, the more that the people on top that have more are going to seem like or feel like they're they're going to have less. Um, which is where we end up with you know people not liking the ideas of change and socialism and all of that because that's kind of where all of this goes, right? Like the, the reason why we have capitalism in the first place is because we had feudalism, which was the idea that only a couple people, a small amount of people, owned everything. And you sold your labor um, to have access to those things. Um, which meant that, like, your home you didn't own. Uh, the, um, the, the crops you harvested and the, the work that you did, whether that was milling or, or anything like that, was, like, you, you didn't own the end product. But your continued work gave you um, access to those, you know, resources, gave you access to the things that you needed, which was like the food, the, the, the housing, um, and even a little bit of money that you had to, uh, you know, trade in, in local markets. Um, capitalism, because that system was failing, because of course the person at the top owns everything, and uh, the more that they have, well, it's greed, so that they have more than everyone else, and they always want more than everyone else. And so they're keeping everyone else from having more. And eventually people got fed up and were like, well, we want to change in system. So what about a system where, you know, you, you get paid for what you're worth and what you make you own, right? Like you're not going to be working land that you don't own. You're not going to be living in a home that you don't own. Um, you're not going to be essentially renting out your work uh, or you're not going to be paying with your work with your labor. Like, or, or you're not going to be paying for your home and you know what you own with your labor you'll you'll actually own all of that right so home ownership um land ownership uh the 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 ability to produce on your own so that people can't take it from you you know it's it's your ownership well capitalism the private ownership of resources and the the means to um produce right but the problem is is that late stage capitalism kind of goes back to feudalism where one person owns everything and everyone else just sells their labor to get access to the basics that they need. You don't own your apartment, you just rent it to a landlord. Um, you don't own the products you create, you're just paid for what your work is. So instead of you being able to actually own resources and the means of production, you own none of it and you're just contracting your work out for the basics and necessities to live. The whole process went in full circle, is basically what it's coming down to. And is it going in full circle? And the more as time goes on, the more it will. And if we can change that system now to avoid that outcome, then we might find a better system for all of us. Um, it just does come down to recognizing that the intents initially behind capitalism are the same intents that we're getting today for the pushes with socialism, um, which is the idea that the government 
sort of provides you the basics. And from there, it's your launching point into the world, right? To, to offer your labor to companies, to um, you know make money, to, to be able to buy and sell things and own things uh, privately. But even once again, that system may eventually roll around to still being insufficient at some other point. The, the point is, is societies change, economies change. And we have to accept that that's going to happen. Um, society is constantly changing and will constantly change, and that includes our economy. The thing to remember is that capitalism is just the private ownership of the means of production and the resources in order to make that, uh, in order to produce product. Um, that's, that's what capitalism is. It's not markets, it's not trade, that's just part of markets and trade. Like, that's, that's, that's part of how societies work, it's always through markets and trade. Someone will have something that someone else doesn't have and you will trade for it. Um, but the private ownership of, of the means of production, and the means to generate wealth, and the resources that are required for all that to work, that doesn't work in a system where we have a finite world. If you had an infinite world, if we were talking like video games, capitalism's great. The resources respawn. You can you can go back out and mine the iron ore from the same spot, the same, like in, in a couple minutes, right? The the capitalism works in video games because the resources are infinite. But even then, in a lot of video games, you still end up the problem of having too much product on the market and uh, things being sold way too high for the average person to, to get it unless they're uh, really wishing to grind. So it, it, it has its own uh, problems. Um, and that that kind of uh, is, is an issue with just um, capitalism in general. Eventually, you will have someone that has either played longer than you and has way more money and can afford the things that you as a starting player can't, or in sort of life, you have basically families that pass down that wealth generationally, and eventually those families have a shitload of money because they're able to pass down that money and continue to make and produce. And eventually what they're paying for is gonna be a lot more expensive than what someone who's coming from a family that has nothing or is starting out with nothing will ever be able to achieve. And we have that today with multimillionaires. If you come from a family that, that you're, the expectation is that you're not gonna get anything from your family, um, that you're gonna start fresh, then you're, you're not gonna make a good life at the start. You're, you're gonna barely scrape by at best. You might completely fail. Um, and if you do end up having kids or, or end up managing to have kids, you will give them what little you have to try and give them a better option forward. And even then, that may not be enough. It may take generations. It's, that's the issue with capitalism, is, is, it's unfortunate, but if you want capitalism to work uh, consistently, then every 100 years or so, you need a reset. You, you need to, to tear it down and rebuild it again. That's, that would be the requirement. You know, you need to, to wipe things off of the market and and redistribute, um, which of course people don't want. So if you can't do that to a system because that's not what people want, then you have to change the base system to pre prevent it from doing that. Now, that does that mean higher taxes for people who make more money? Yeah, yeah. Because you're, you're living a life that other people won't be ab able to reach in their own life, unless it's by extreme luck. You're there should be a currency cap on how much wealth an individual can have. And I do mean wealth. So you can't just have rich people buying up properties and being like, oh, I only have like so, so many million in my bank. But like, yeah, you've got billions in property. Um, it, it should be a wealth basis um, so that after a certain period, you're taxed. And if you can't pay the tax for uh, how much wealth you have, then you're going to need to get rid of some of the wealth. And, and in that system, it, it makes sense, right? There, it, it gives you, there's no infinite ceiling. It gives you a hard cap. And a lot of people don't like that idea because they're like, oh, well, then that would means I wouldn't be able to buy X thing. Well, yeah, sure, you wouldn't be able to buy X thing. X thing would have to come down because it would be unsellable, right? Like it's, it's that's the whole point to it. Um, but we're, we're sort of figuring that out and those changes will have to happen at some point. Um, it's just unfortunate that in this day in life, uh, rather than tackling those issues, we have politicians that are willing to put, pit people against each other um, for the sake of uh, trying to avoid anyone from really talking about 
the true problems of society, which is the fact that we have more people in poverty conditions than we've ever had in the past. And yes, that does mean that we have more people, but I'm also talking percentage-wise. If we're talking about what the minimum living wage is for, for an area, we have less people, we have more people not making a minimum living wage than we've ever had, period. Um, and that needs to change because that, that's one of the reasons why things are so expensive is, of course, when um, when the, the wealth is so high on one end, you're catering to the people who can actually purchase, not the ones that have nothing uh, and can't make anything. Um, you're going to cater to the people that are, in a capitalist society, more willing to buy. So, of course, things go more into the upper middle class and... and you find less resources for, available for people to purchase and continue living on the lower class. And and that will that will inevitably push people further and further into poverty. Um, and there are two things that happen. You either have mass revolt and a complete governmental change, or you have what happens more commonly, which is uh, local communities um, changing the system, changing the metric. You know, they're, they're not... Uh, participating anymore um which happens in in places where that extreme divide occurs that the people who are are suffering just create a different economic system um and that economic system if it's based on capitalism will eventually go the same way eventually it's it's just it's a cycle that we should break out of um because there's, there's a better way of, of doing all of this, and there's a better way of not only uh, living as a people, which I think capitalism has done this horrible thing of us versus them mentality. Like, you know, I, I got mine. You know, it's, it's it's me or it's the poor people, you know? Um, which I think is is a horrible status to, to put on people. Um, because anybody can become poor. Um, and so to, to bring this back around, that's kind of why I don't believe in intellectual property rights. And I don't believe in, um, in a lot of cases, I don't believe in, in, in corporations. I don't think corporations should exist. Um, I understand that they set a standard for, for basic building of things and, and they do put a level of credibility by being consistent, but the drawbacks are is they drive wages down and they drive quality of living down in the areas that they, that they exist. Um, so if you have a corporation in a town, it will it will lower wages because that's the whole point. The point is more profit at less operating cost. And one of the biggest operating costs are wages. So if they can lower those and get more output, they will do that 100%. And that will force other people to drop their wages because, you know, if, if the corporation is offering cheaper product and uh, paying people less, then you've got to pay your people less to sell your product at lower prices because uh, if you sell it at lower prices and you still keep paying you're, you're operating at, at a uh, um at a loss uh so yeah it's um it's 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 one of those it's one of those things it's it's a balancing game and that that goes for video games that goes for life it, it's finding the balance and recognizing that you're going to piss people off no matter what you do. Um, there are people who are going to be poor that are going to be pissed off that capitalism, if capitalism changes, because their mentality is, is that they're trying to learn the system and now the system's changed and they don't want to, to have to learn a new one, even if it's better for them. Um, you're going to have that. Um, but yeah, no, it's a, uh, we live in, in complicated times. Um, give me a second here. I need to see... Oh wow, I had I had someone view yesterday. That's actually impressive. Um, I should probably make my Ko-Fi <laughs> a bit more of an active space. Um, I haven't done that. I'm supposed to be doing code review and uh, I'll be going in uh, potentially an hour or so um, just to, to deal with stuff. Um, I'm gonna be doing just so this is sort of like anybody in chat that's watching, because I don't know how many people are uh, in the stream chat at the moment. But um, I'm going to be doing more morning streams. I know with the 
late night is just the, the, the nights that we're all doing things. We're in front of the, uh, the, the computer. Um, and I know that for a lot of people, you work nine to fives and, uh, you know, nighttime is, is, um, where you, uh, where you get your relaxation, unless you're a night owl. Uh, but unfortunately, um, I looked at my upcoming schedule and I am going to be off work at 9.30 PM, uh, which means uh, when I come home, it will maybe be 10 o'clock before I can stream, and I start at 1 p.m. the following day. I don't know if I'm going to have the energy in the evenings to come off of work, uh, especially doing with what I do, which is, is very mentally taxing. Um, and a lot of, and a lot of, of talking these days. Um, I may not be able to come home, and I may not even have the voice to uh, jump on stream and, uh, and be able to do streams. Um, it's just unfortunately one of those things. Oh, my ear's doing something. It's unfortunately one of those things where, like, I might be doing later. Um, I might be doing, sorry, er, earlier in the morning, uh, just so that I can, I can come home, eat, get a couple hours of, of sleep in, and then come up and do this. Um, it's, it's gonna be rough, but, like, you know, the... The end goal is, is to eventually one day uh, be able to, to make money off of Twitch and YouTube uh, with ad revenue and everything. Um, speaking of which, I am currently... The reason why I'm not showing anything is I'm currently in the process of doing all of this. Trying to um, set up... Uh, i make sure that my VPN is on. Oh, this might be a brief disconnect. Sorry for that, guys. Sorry for that! Okay. Okay. Maybe we're back. Maybe we're back. Okay. 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 There we go. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, didn't have my security on. Uh, so I had to, to throw that on. Um, sorry about that. I know that Twitch is pretty good with their, with their, uh, their side encryption, but on occasion, uh, we, we run into, um, little issues and, uh, that with being a trans woman online and streaming, uh, I have to be a little bit more, uh, careful. Um, sorry. I have to be a little bit more careful with, uh, with what I do. Um. I, I don't have Stripe. Oh, no. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Let's try that a different way. Jeez. Yeah, it's just uh, stuff. Stuff we're setting up. Yeah, I'm back. It it did something weird. Um, had to to put my security on. Uh. I don't think I, I I've never signed up for this. actually open up my email to do something, which is amazing. I haven't had to do that in a while. Is my email usually always open? Always. I, I always have to check the stupid thing. Also, it makes me laugh to no end that, uh, that, um, Google's apparently changing the way that they do ad revenue, uh, if you haven't noticed. Um, they're, they're rolling it out to 1% of users, but in essence, uh, the way that... Um, uh, the way that... Google is doing ad revenue now is they're going to actually um, compile information 
uh, that they're willing to uh, sell on you. So instead of just um, getting the raw data, like most, um, uh, um, like most businesses are used to, and like being able to like target a specific individual by name or code number, and specifically give them specific, targeted, very personal ads. The um, what what uh, Google's trying to do is essentially give people a sort of ad profile that's anonymized, and then just aggregate all of that search data themselves and tag it with things like football fan or. Um, you know, uh, rights activist or something like that on there that just tags it so that uh, what the, the advertisers can buy is not actually any physical data or search history, but rather they can, um, or even specific products you've looked up or even specific products you've looked at, they basically just get a list of tags that they can then fire ads at people in a more generalized sense, which makes me laugh because I'm pretty sure that's their their uh, attempt to um, make things look or at least become a bit more secure. And I'm saying that with quotation marks uh, on their end, because I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are getting tired of um, uh, dealing with. Um, ooh, I have to stir that up. Uh, are getting tired with the. Um, or turning on things like ad blockers and stuff like that, because they, they don't want uh, ads for tracking. And also because, you know, you have um, browsers that are kind of following the, the same uh, path as um, Firefox does, which is that they, uh, Firefox doesn't care about your data. They're, they're a nonprofit corporation, uh, meaning that everything that they do is literally just to advance their, their platform and uh, to like pay the people that, um, are, are doing the work, but otherwise the corporation like doesn't have uh, a profit. So their whole reason for securing your data is perfect, is completely a choice one. And um, they, they go to the extra mile because they know that that's what people are using their platform, right? So that's like the reason why I use Firefox is just because not only does it block cookies from jumping from tab to tab, um, it, uh, as long as I have Google ad profiles and stuff turned off, which I default do, um, all of the, the ads I get, they're, they're just generalized ads. Because um, if I use Google services, I, I turn off the, the, uh, the ad tracking, the personalized ads, so that I don't have to deal with, you know, getting suddenly a whole bunch of bigot ads because some bigoted marketing group uh, wanted to send their ads to people who were uh, transgender or trans allies um, and like their own like bigoted fan base to try and drag more people in, um, which is absolutely something that happens. It's it's nice though because I turn that off and I don't have to worry about that. Like I may I may get those ads, but I also don't get them a lot because they don't target generalized users because they're going after a very specific subgroup. So like when I see people that are like, oh, I'm getting a lot of bigoted ads on a trans person's video, I'm like, well, yeah, because they're targeting trans supportive people because that's part of their audience is to get people who don't agree with them to view their content because it's reactionary. Um, so they will do that on purpose because it will drag people in. And even if you're against it, there are people out there who are maybe watching trans content to make an opinion. And if they can inject their content into someone's learning process and make them think different things, then that's how they kind of do their recruitment. It's it's. It's very telling when these companies do this because they're trying to get people that don't know anything about, you know, trans and queer issues to, to watch their content so that they can tell them what they need to think. Um, and it just sucks because like anyone who's who's usually in the in the I say, well, I say not anyone, but most people in the and the uh, queer community, they, they want you to learn, you know, kind of here's here's what I believe, but form your own opinions. Um, I've kind of come across a lot more of that with the uh, um, the um, queer community in general is it's not like like you're gonna come across people in the queer community that are just so different like they're not gonna you're gonna come across gay people that, that identify as gay in different ways than just I'm a lesbian um, there's there's a lot of self identification that just changes per person and it's not really easy to you know pin down a, a generalization because there isn't a generalization um, it's also real fun to, to come across allies in the community as well, 
who have completely changed their their definition of, of what it means for them to be who they are um purely because they they've kind of seen the queer community's ability to uh sort of self-identify and it's actually not like you can identify in different ways and you don't have to be queer you can just identify the way that you want to identify um i've seen a lot of allies that that are just cisgender men and women that are just wearing clothing that other people would from a more conservative background consider queer purely because that's how they identify as a straight person or as a uh someone who's cisgender it, it's just it's interesting. I've even met people who have uh, um, pronouns that, that don't even match uh, the traditional gender. Um, you know, guy, if you're a man, it's he, him. If you're a woman, it's she, her. I've, I've met people who go by they, them, but they don't consider themselves to be uh, like non-binary. Or if they do consider themselves non-binary, they don't consider themselves part of the trans community. They, they still consider themselves sort of cisgender in that way. Um, and I've just come across people that, that do that, and it's like, that's amazing. Like, it's just, that's kind of the, the whole point of this, is to be free to identify how you want to be and not to be put into a box. Like, if you're not comfortable in a box, don't be in a box. And does that make you queer? Well, some people might say yes, some people might say no. But if the person who is identifying that way says no, that doesn't make me, uh, you know, part of the 2SLGBTQIA plus community, then that's their definition. And they're just a straight ally. Or a cisgender ally. Like, it's it's... It's kind of awesome to, to see that. Um, and I know a lot of people, there are even some people in the queer community who are like, that doesn't make sense. And it's like, but it doesn't have to make sense to you. It has to make sense to the person that's identifying that way. And that's ultimately, it is about self-identification. So even if someone's saying something and you're like, no, that, that sounds pretty queer, you can't, you can't and shouldn't and should never tell them that because it's their choice to identify the way that they want. And all you have to do is respect that choice. It cannot make sense to you. It doesn't have to make sense to you. Like, for example, my doctor tells me to take certain medications that don't really make sense to me or didn't make sense to me, but I still took them because they're the expert. They're the expert on what they know. And an individual is the, ex is the expert on their personality and, and their, their sexual and gender orientation. They're the expert. They live with themselves 100% of the time. So why wouldn't you trust them? It's really what it comes down to. My K, my ear is doing... Oh, it feels like it's plugged! <laughs> oh, I can't even pop it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm like talking and I can hear myself like buzzing in my ear. It is... Oh, no, it's done. It's done. I'm back. I can hear. Oh, oh my God. The bass sounds so nice. Oh, it's not just coming in one ear now. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh no. It's it's just it's um <laughs> Huh. <laughs> well that cleared out my ears. <laughs> oh I felt that pop. <laughs> oh I don't know, there's there's a lot of stuff that goes on in life, right? Like, it's just... I, I don't really understand why there is... Like, I, I understand that, that it's happening. I can't really understand why. Because... At the end of the day, what's the point of getting involved in someone else's life? And their life choices when it's more about how they interact and how they choose to... To, you know... Be, I, I guess? But yeah, that's like really all, all it kind of comes down to. Sorry, just doing things. 
I'll, I'll, I'll get to the actual code review in a second. It's just a lot of stuff that I need to uh, uh, suddenly get done here. Um, but I have been going through a, a bit of it on my own, um, just to make sure that I'm remembering. Uh, Few more options. Um, okay. Yeah, it's individual. Am I really registering myself as a business right now? Yeah, I think I am. I think I'm registering myself as a business. Well, uh, this will change in four weeks, so this will be um, a fun uh, edition. Uh, I don't have a job title. Thank you. Oh, wait. Right, that is not correct. That is correct. The glories of having a name changed being done in the midst of owning and operating a business that doesn't make any money and uh, I don't pay taxes on because it doesn't do shit. Um, hi. Hi, can you, can you? What happened? Did I, is this because I clicked a button? This is because I clicked a button, isn't it? Uh, okay, so there we go. Can you hear me now? Okay, yeah, you can. So if I hit a certain button, <laughs> It, uh, it, it destroys my avatar's ability to, uh, have a mouth. So now I can't do that. Okay, so I can't, let's not use that key. Um. What are you? It's not... Okay, I don't, I don't think, I don't think this is me. Hold up. I'm trying to set this up. I'm trying to activate. No. Nah. 
Okay, okay, wait, question, question, question. It says... Okay, well, it's saying act, but what if I did... Because all I'm really doing is accepting donations. Does that mean... Wait, hold up. Does that mean that... Because I'm not that, and this is, no, it would be individual, okay. So then what you're asking me to add... Uh. Would I count as a charity? I don't know if I can okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this account made, but I don't think I can actually do what I wanna do. Because I don't think it's possible for me. Would I like to be able to accept those kinds of payments? Yes. Um But I don't think I'm going to. Because all I'm doing is accepting donations. If if I was doing something like actually fundraising for the game I'm making, sure, but the whole point of me making a game is just to make a game. It's not to like actually do anything, I guess, with it. Um, that may change as the game develops, but like the 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 general purpose of um, me doing this. By the way, there is there's something I actually need to edit. Um, no, it's not. I my mouse is a little bit glitchy. There's actually something I need to do to edit. Um, what, what I'm doing, um, and I can actually show this, so I can, I can go to, um, this. This is basically what I was doing. Uh, I was going through script references and stuff like that in memory management, but there is actually something I do need to do, um, so give me one moment to just go back to the face cam real quick, because I need to open something, but I don't want to see you, you guys to see what my file structure is, uh, which is crap, by the way, but side the point, uh, I do have things mildly organized. Um... Video. Video. No, I... Did I put that into... Why did I put that into editing? I don't want to do editing. It's just, it's just straight up in video. Deal with that. Um... I need... Where is... Where is... Production. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Open with uh, open with. There we go. I uh, wait. Hold up. I have GIMP. I didn't know I had GIMP. Can I screw myself over with GIMP? Because I don't know how to use GIMP. It says I have GIMP. I didn't think I had GIMP. Me having way too many programs. Oh, wow. I, I have GIMP. Like, it's just... 
I'm a little bit scared about opening this because I don't know what I don't know if it's gonna show things, but we'll just do this as fast as we can. It's um, it's showing this. I apparently have GIMP. I thought I just had Krita. I, I thought I deleted everything else that wasn't that wasn't necessary off my uh, machine, but apparently for some reason GIMP's still here. Um, I would be angry normally about a, a computer being um or program being shadow like just installed on my on my computer. Just not not being where you know my system can detect it, but uh, I'm not actually that mad, um, because I actually plan to use GIMP for for the game because I know that it can create really good assets and uh, it does have um, some uh, animation and I know that a lot of people are like, oh, it's the lesser Photoshop, but it's free and I'm poor, so don't get mad at me, okay? Why else? Why else do you think I'm using Godot? I'd be using Unreal Engine 5, but I'm poor, and uh, if for whatever reason the weird game that a trans girl makes. Uh, shows up on oh I have no idea how to use this. <laughs> okay. Um hi. I'm looking for some basic elements of editing. I'm looking for the dropper tool, so that now I have that. I'm pretty sure that's a bucket tool. Which is this is not going to Yeah, okay, so we can Can I yeah, I can control Z. Okay, okay, so stream starting soon. That's fine. Um what I want to do is I want to use a square, but I also want like how do I? Whoop! No, that's not what I wanted. Hi, hi. Dropper tool. Add two. Uh, you. Can I? No, that's a select. Cause that's a selection tool. Do you have a tool that I can use? Can I just use the brush? That is not an erase tool, but I will take it. Okay. So then, if I control Z, it all comes back. Fantastic. So if I dropper tool this and then went to brush Ooh, or pencil. Oh, I like pencil better. Hi. We're gonna um, do a quick edit here. Oh, wait, hold on. What? Okay. Uh, you, where's the brush? No, where's the pencil tool? Pencil tool. Hi. Whoop. Gotta be very careful with the lines because uh, I spent like hours spacing this out. Um, this whole base canvas that I made for like, oh, do you have layers? I could do this in layers and save myself time in the future. That was not what I wanted to do. Um, hi, do you have a button press that pulls you? Is, uh... I don't know what that means. Are you just a dropper tool? No, you were default. Okay, are you a dropper tool? <gasps> You're always dropper! Okay, 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 okay. We've, we've got this, we've got this. And then you. You're N, for some reason. That is fine. We will map all of you at a later point. Whoop, nope, control Z. Screwed that up. Wait, hold up, what am I doing? I... Give me one second. I spent $80 over Christmas. Stupid decision, mind you. Um, to go and get myself a tool to do drawing, which I have been, of course, absolutely loving doing in my private time. Um, uh, sometimes I will play games and I will absolutely tank my, um, uh, my frames just for the ability to sit up on top of a rock somewhere in some video game. And, uh, there we go. Come on, come on. You're not going to let me press? Okay, so I've somehow killed it. Um, oh no, it's right there. Can I... Can I get my brush to work? Wait, hold up. Do I actually have to ask this question? How to get... How much is a P.O. box in Canada? Hi. You're wondering what I've been doing? Uh... Ignore that top search result. You don't need to ask questions, okay? Uh, tablet to work in... Uh... Did I just click on the first link? Yeah, absolutely. You shouldn't do that, by the way. Um, I don't care what it means. Uh, okay, tablet setup. Great. Um, in order to make your tablet work this application, you should configure 
it first. Okay. Edit input. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, what did it say? It said, edit input devices. Okay. Edit uh, input devices. Thank you. Um, thank you. Window? Yeah, no, we'll do screen. Screen, screen tends to, if I don't have it, it, it messes me up. Um, tablet pressure, stylus. I don't think the puck does anything. The puck technically shows up, but they didn't actually put a puck on it. They, uh, they just put this piece that doesn't even spin. At least I don't think it spins. Wait, do you spin? Are you spinning or is that just my finger going around in circles? Damn it. Yeah, this is my finger going around in circles. So definitely the puck exists. It has like the equipment for the puck, but the puck doesn't actually exist exist. I, I need to like get the parts, pry it out of the, the thing and then try to get it to work. But like it detects it, it's just not there. Um, screen. Uh, okay, save. Does that mean I can now, I can now use it. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, um, configure input. This is great. Uh, hi. Okay, so you're doing selection. Okay, um, not what I wanted. Uh, don't do that to me. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know what that does. Okay, that does. That didn't do anything good. I want this. Okay, give me. Give me. That's a cut tool. I don't want a cut tool. Um. Okay, so that's right click. That's move. That's good to note. You're just doing that. Which I don't want. Um, how do I wait? Hold up. Because you're doing difference. I could probably just change you, right? Aha. OK, so keyboard and mouse, different inputs. Interesting. That's kind of what I wanted initially um, when I was doing this before. Um, I wanted, uh, I have more accuracy. That did not work. Okay, I should just do, should do what I'm supposed to do. Do small little brush lines. It doesn't matter about how hard I press, because this is not doing an actual art program shit. It's just doing basic texture editing, which is perfectly fine. It has some powerful tools. But it's not, like, I see that it's got, like, brushes and stuff and hardness. Um, but this doesn't seem to matter. If it's the brush tool, that's a different story. Um, we're gonna be putting all of this in again. Hi, okay, so then we're gonna go and take you. Where's the dropper tool? Dropper, 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 thank you. Gonna need to sample that, thank you. Gonna need to take that and the stream starting soon on the top. That's where everyone will look. Unless I have, you know, the support Ko-Fi thing in the upper corner, which I may have to um, change. I should take my hand off of that every so often. Biggest problem I've been having with my drawing is I like don't take, I like find a weird way to be efficient where I don't take my brush off the screen. And I can literally just be like coloring something in and moving stuff around and then all of a sudden I make a mistake and I'm like, oh shoot, control Z problem immediately. So I'm doing what I should probably do, which is, you know, learn to recolor. <sighs> but you know, brain. Okay, so that's that. Now I don't need to be stylusing that up too much. Uh text tool. Sans serif, absolutely not. Let's not, no, I don't want to do font sans serif. Give me Arial Bold, thank you very much. Or even just Arial, I'll take Arial. I'll take Arial and I'll add the bold myself. Um, size, we want the color to be Blue. No, that did not work. Because I chose the wrong 
thing. Dropper. There we go. Text. Aerial. Size. 62. Uh. Test. That could work. Um, my question is, why not just 60? Because... Uh, controls Z, K, H, here. Uh, interesting. I, I don't want to do that. I want to go down to 60. Um, and gonna bulge you. Okay. Default. Bolding. Test. Intriguing. Not as big. So did I want... Did I want... Okay, control C. Did I want Arial Bold? Hi, this is Arial Bold Bolded. And if I go test... Hit you. I debold you. I then rebold you. You don't do anything. Are you telling me... No, that's spacing. Okay, so that's spacing. That that's gonna be a zero. That was not explained to me. Um What about you? Oh you're okay, you're line spacing. That's great. Uh zero. I've had to do this before. Hi. Thank you. Up, down. Great. So... So you are bolding, but bolding does nothing. Okay. A. No. Underline, that's a strike through. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, 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 interesting. Um, I need to check... Fuck it. I need to check this real quick. Uh, so it was white, blue. Okay, so I... I do have the color spectrum a bit wrong. Um, we'll do this. Okay. Okay. Understood. All right, we're gonna do the white spectrum. Oh, you just keep all of it. Okay, well, that's interesting. Um, hi, we're gonna do a dropper tool. We're gonna, no, we're gonna dropper this. And we are going to Text layers, Arial Bold, uh, probably up to, I don't know, maybe it's 70 would be the good one. If I did a test to that, that would be good. Okay, uh, I have six lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Technically, I can do six things, and then I can do uh, potentially a seventh there. What was I saying before doing any of this? Um, hi, doing uh, strange artworks. Where da, da, da. Da, da, da. Where's, where's my account? I need to see my stuff. As much as it's awesome to see other people's stuff, and I am loving those socks, by the way. Um, I need to see the stupid stuff that I post. And uh, it scares me that, um, oh, that number still scares me. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm off this. I need to, uh, we're gonna do a bullet point. <sighs> Uh, we can select and move that, I'm hoping, at some other point. So we're just gonna do this, and we're just gonna go, be kind. Well, okay, I can't type today. Um, I have to look at my keyboard for once. Awesome. Um, 
What? Wait. What? What are your yours just tea? Okay. Be kind. Be respectful. Those both look like. I'm gonna be honest with you. You look like you could be a 75 comfortably in that zone. Hi, now the editor's in the way. Love that. Um, can I do? Thank you. I need. Oh, thank you for having individual text fields. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so I'm going to leave a little bit of space on the side there. Uh, for the purposes of eventually adding a chat module that can just fill up the size, it's like stream starting soon. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have that set up. Um, it's just going to be there so people can, can read their chat and see their, their things pop up so that they know like, Hey, it's live. Um, because I am streaming these to, to, to Twitch. Um, but Twitch, sorry, I am streaming these on Twitch, but I'm, I'm uploading the VODs. But the problem is, is that I don't have any, uh, chat icon. Um, just yet, uh, I don't know how to, how to take the chat out, um, because each time that I take the chat out and I actually have the chat removed, it gives me, oh, I guess it does give me that. I could, I could theoretically. I could technically take that link and make that a web module and see what happens. But it would really depend because all that's really going to do is chat. But I could drop chat in. I wonder. I might have to look that up. I might have to look that up and actually legitimately take a second to, to do that. But beside the point, we're doing this on 75. So this is now going to be 75. But we're also going to go and take the dropper tool. I'm not going to grab the... I'm not going to keep making that mistake. Thank you. Dropper tool, please. Hi. Give me blue. Fine. We'll do this the fun way. Because you don't want to be nice. Right. Be respectful. See, now, now, you're, now you're doing this again. Ah. Back all the way up. Hi. Blue. Okay. Like, no, and then, and then you did, no, what if I wanted blue? Okay. But now this is, this is, this is still white. No, I wanted you blue. Okay. Thank you. Three. Why? What have I done to make you angry with me? Blue it. Thank you. Oh, so I have to change it there. What the heck? Space. Absolutely no. Tree. Yeah. Um, really wish I could drag you. Is there a select tool? Can I do a select tool? Can I do a move? I can totes do a move. This is amazing. Can I move? Let's not move that element. Okay, so I can, I can, nope, see, that's, that's not what I wanted. That's fine. Okay, so if I select these, I can move these around. That's good. That is good. We are discovering things in an art program, even though I said this was not what I was going to be doing. Hi, blue, please. Okay. Um... Nope, I wanted text. Thank you. Uh, three. Thank you. So you are actually four. Uh, 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 might not be able to leave that. That one might be. Uh, you know what? We can just do this. We go. Get uh, pink. 
new one. All right. Um, wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted, uh, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted white. Control Z. Z. Uh oh. Uh oh. What did I do? Oh, I zoomed in. Oh, that's bad. Okay, hold up. That's not. Uh, side. Thank you kindly. Uh, click. Um. Hold. We're here. I want, I want to add that. Thank you. I don't know what happened. Oh, it's because my hands are over the tablet. Oh, my hands on the tablet are the ones that are screwing me over. Um, hi, we're gonna move the tablet off the side and hope I don't cause any further issues. Uh, okay. Um, what was this? Uh, right. What? And then this, which I can technically put in a new spot and not care. Uh, six. Uh, you know what? We don't need to put the possessive in this. There we go. Okay. The move tool. The thing that we need to worry about. Um. This might be a math thing for me, because it really depends. So if I have... Can I physically move you to the top? Thank you. Two, your, three... That one is here, and then you, all of you were backwards. That's fine. Okay. Are you going to give me... Okay, well, we can just give a bit of space to... Relative. You know what? I could do this. And no, that's not what I wanted. I... Come on. Right there. Okay. Control Z. I did this. Question, if I'm on the move tool, can I use the arrow keys? I can, oh my goodness. There we go. All the way down. About there. Oh, that's about good. I can select four. Maybe no. I want I want I want the selection for four. Give me four. No, that's not what I wanted. No. No. Something's something's off here. What's going on? Uh. Okay. Might need to reset that for whatever reason. No, because you're still you're still trying to move the physical picture. I want you to move. Okay, so I gotta grab it by the sides. That is so weird. Mm, leaning in to take a look. That should be good. All the way down. Should do that. Hi, thank you. Can we, can you do this please? Thank you. I friggin' hate you. Thank you, okay. 
translate tool is the worst. It is non-intuitive and I don't know how that's working, but um, whatever the spacing is between these, I have to figure that out. This is gonna be a little bit jank and I am sorry in advance for this. Interesting, so I can't even select where this is gonna go. Be a bit off. Who knows? Whoop, whoop, whoop. I went to four and went down. No, that's going to be doing this. This go down. Six. Clicky. Awesome. Can I just drag you over? Because that'll be quicker. Thank you. Da -da -da -da. Layering on the layering part. Amazing. The uh, execution, not so much. Um, okay, dokes. Yeah, um, like, there's a difference between rivalries and friendly competition, just so we're clear, okay? Um, if you have a rivalry with someone, um, that's, that's, um, that's personal uh, baggage, and you leave that at the door. Um, if you're doing a competition to see how many uh, bigots you can ban between all of you, um, that's a friendly competition because there's no prizes and no winner. Um, then you leave that at the door, or I will demote you from being a mod. I recognize that you're my girlfriend, and I recognize that that is a threat, and I still made it. I know that I'll reap the consequences of that later, but... No rivalries, no wars in chat, okay? If 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 you have a, a favorite team you root for, if you've got a superhero that you think is better, and you are 100% against all other people who don't like that uh, that particular superhero or supervillain, you are um, you leave that at the door, okay? We we leave work outside, except when I bitch about it which in that case, um, but that's not superhero related, just so we're clear. My day job is corporate. Well, it's kind of not corporate. It's corporate and not corporate. Um, I had to talk with HR and they were like, yeah, we, we might have a problem with uh, continuing the employment. And I was like, why? And they're like, oh, because well, you're not meeting expectations. And I was like, what do you mean by what are my expectations? And they're like, well, you signed a contract that basically said that your expectations were for this job. And I was like, no, no, I signed a contract that basically said that what my responsibilities for were, were setting up systems and distributing. And if you don't have me doing setting up systems and distributing, because you're not giving me the accessibility to do so, that's not because I'm not meeting expectations, it's because you're not doing it. And they're like, but well, you're not doing that job anymore. I'm like, but that's not what my contract says. And they looked over and they went, oh, well, we'll send you a new one. And I was like, yeah, so you can fire me? Heck no. We've just had this conversation and this has been recorded because they have to record their, their conversations with, uh, with me. And I was like, yeah, this has been recorded. You're not sending me that and I'm not signing that because I'm employed and I won't be signing a new contract simply because you realize that you made a mistake. I agreed to, to, to do a certain level of work. Um, and the issue is, is that I'm not able to do that level of work due to accommodation failure. Not on my part, on their part. And so they're trying to pull this shit with me and it's like, it's not gonna work, honey. Like, you just, my, my, my contract said that my none, none, that all of my uh, duties and expectations remain the same. My duties and expectations are for IT. If you're not having me do IT, you're having me doing up training and I'm gonna be missing days and that's gonna be too much, uh, too many days for you. Um, uh, too many days missed. Uh, and I'm, that, those days missed are happening because of medical reasons. Um, that's not my fault. And they're like, well, then you just like won't have work. And I'm like, well, if you don't pay me for a certain number of days, technically what you've done is you've legally uh, um, terminated my employment. So if you're not going to give me work, but you're not going to, in quotations, fire me, you need to give me severance. And the looks on their faces were like, shit. And it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm versed in this. I understand how this works. If I have to go to court to get, you know, the money out of you, I will go for more money than what I'm worth. 
Don't get me wrong. But that's the, the price that you pay when you try to, you know, screw me over. So, c'est voilà. Um, I might be going soon, FYI. Um, I am kind of like ready to go. I got, I got all of my things uh, that I need. Um, sort of set up with here, me, me here right now. Hi, there we go, words. I got all the stuff that I need. It's just gonna be like a, a grab and go um, kind of deal. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah. Okay, so this is going to be the new stream title card, which is going to be fun because I get to go file and I get to go, uh, where's my save? Save? Oh, hi. You're going to make me do C, uh, where is it? I know you have it. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And save. Okay, questions now. Oh, you saved it as XCF. I don't want that file. Uh, I guess I need to do save as. Um, can I convert you to a... I think I'm supposed to be on 2.8 now, but I, I might need to upgrade and for that. That's okay. Um, I guess the term that I'm looking for is export. Thank you. Um, Replace it. We're not keeping that one. That that was that was the old placeholder, and now we're updating to this. Um, yeah. Uh, export. Awesome. So now, with a bit of clever editing. I can go to the stream starting soon. And what I can do is get the starting image to browse that. I, I don't care. I don't know what that was about. I think I double clicked something. That's okay. Open. Boom is browsed. So there we go. And at some point, I will add a chat overlay. Actually, I can search that up right now. Um, OBS Studio. OBS Studio. Twitch chat.
Hmm. I wonder. What did I do for you? What what kind of properties were you? You're showing up as a web source, which is kind of what I want. You just added a random chat. Yeah, no, we'll we'll uh, we'll pull that up in a second. Um, okay, give me a second here. Actually done this before. Oh, it did not work well. Let me do one, thank you. Because could I use Streamlabs? Absolutely. But if I did, Streamlabs runs um, so slow. And so what I need is to just tack something on. Uh, so we'll have to... doing random stuff with my uh, chat. Okay, 1080, that should be what I'm looking for. Uh, 
that should be fine. Well, this is a 1080 widget, so problem being, I want it, I kind of want it configurable though, that's the problem. Um, would do okay um, we'll bring you down to 25 just for use and then going on you're not okay I don't know how to make that work Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do oh. Like a lightish gray There we go
we're just gonna save that. Overlay name. Shout overlay. I gotta see if this is even gonna work. Uh, just, this is just testing. Doesn't show up. Okay, so what did I do? It's, that's not what it's doing. I, I have, I have overlays. We now need to just consider that I have an overlay. Um, and I'm still editing it. And it does show, oh, so it has shown up, but my opacity setting Is there any way to change the background? Because it's like, it is showing up. does show up, but I want the background to, okay, so I gotta, I gotta 100% that, which sucks. This is interesting. So, so this, this will actually, you can now see your chat on screen. However, um, However, it, uh... Setting. 
If I save that, it, it does that. And if I write, like, hello... Oh, I'm, I've lost my connection. Now oh, this is interesting. If I type in hello... Does it show up? It doesn't. Right? Because for some reason... That's not showing up anymore. White chat? No, I don't want white. I want a dark, but what I want is opacity. I want background opacity. settings could we do white okay hi HSL If I save that, what happens? Because this is supposed to update at some point. Oh, oh, okay. So... Zero pixels. Uh, hold up, we're gonna do one pixel and we're gonna do one pixel. What, if we did 10, would I notice it? Probably not. And if I did five, So I can I can literally change that around. That's fine. I was kind of hoping for a uh, smaller size widget. I really wish that I could change it, but I guess I see what they're trying to do. I could have I could have I don't have to do a widget this big. That's the whole thing. All right, hold up. I am gonna save it in the upper corner um, because now that has I can I'll have to change that at like any given time, but it does give me the unique ability to adjust its location. Do I want it to be pixel perfect? Yes. Is it going to be? Probably not. Um, but hey, you know. I don't always get what we want. Okay. Mission data. Uh, can I? Is there 
like any way to change this? So now I know what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. I don't want that. You, um, properties. Resolution. G give me, give me 720. Submit. Okay, now if I click at it, how small are you? This is fantastic. I love this. This is this is a much better system to do. All right. You. Properties. Uh, my streams chat. What are we at? What do you have for positioning styles? We're at 400, 600. So why don't we just do? What's the size of this? What point is that? Doesn't even tell me. All right, well, well. Uh, you know what? Properties we can actually do because wait, height is six hundred. Width is four hundred. We can do. 401 and so we're gonna do 402, 602, and when we save that, it's now the perfect size to just snap to the edges, and we're good to go. And so then the only thing that I am doing outside of this is um doing the text settings and the like setting settings. I want 0.25, thank you. And what I want is settings. I want blaring ass white. And text size, I don't know, maybe, maybe 15. We'll have to see. Right. We're gonna save that. Test three. How big is that? Okay. If I text sized you up to like 30. Okay. 20. Is 15 really that? No. Well. 18. 18's good. You know, maybe even 17. Yeah. 18's good. 18's good. Interesting. No, that would just confuse me. Okay. Safe. There. So that stream element is always going to be there. Um, there's the, there's the opportunity with this to make the background completely opaque. And... From that point forward, just allowing it to pop up on screen. Very, very high possibility. Um, and I've been thinking about that because if I do this, um, and we do it, we do we do like a, a testing message to get this to work for me. This will pop up. And what I can do is I can grab the background op 
capacity and I can literally just zero it so that when I save this and it reloads this, if I do another testing message, testing, testing, does it pop out? See, that's that's probably the way to go because it pops it out a little bit and gives it a bit of back shading so you can still kind of see it. Um, and then I can pop up and chat. All right. Hmm? Leaving scene? Okay. All right. Sorry for, for doing all of this on stream. Um, my bad, sorry. But the good news is, hi, the good news is, um, oh, I need to do that, hi, hello. Uh, the good news is, is that at least with everything that, that, I've, uh, that I've done at the moment, um, I now have this uh, stream element that is um, throwing itself on here, which is great, which I know that I had previously. Uh, so all I need to do now is literally add, add existing. And I can throw that pretty much anywhere. I might need to do a little bit of uh, adjusting. I may need to make the uh, the text a bit bigger. In fact, I, I will have to. Hold up. Uh, elements. All right. I will make the texting. I will make the text bigger. Um, We use cookies. I know you use cookies. Uh, streaming tools. No. Overlays. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. You just need the stream overlay. Thank you. I already have elements. Thank you very much. I have made these. Remind me later, please. History. No, streaming tools, no. Overlays, thank you. Edit, that's what I need. Um, okay, hi, just doing this real quick. This is my streams chat, I understand that. Um, what I need is text settings. I am going to bring you guys up to uh, probably 20, 24. Uh, just as a test, which will drop that in. It, it will be a bit on the larger side. And I can go down to 22. There we go. That's that's better. It's smaller chats type thing. Um, will show up on screen. Uh, it does have a little bit of a background. Really wish that the secondary one, I could change the way that shadow works, but I don't know what the text stroke. If I save that, it'll pop up in chat. And you can now see yourselves on screen. And what I can do is I can even drop that all the way over here. Um, opacity might still be a thing that I might need to have on. Good to be totally honest with you. Um, and if that's the case, it doesn't really matter, matter to me that much. But, like, I can do... Look here, Mom, I'm on TV. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, well, now I'm going to destroy your dreams. Um, so sorry about that. Just to give it... Uh... There we go. There you go. Now you're on screen. There you go. It's just, it's just that the text is a little weird when it's like on white, so I gotta be a little bit careful. Um, I might even bring that up to 0.3 and save that. There you go. 
It resets it every single time, so it doesn't do like previous chat messages. So from here on out, you will look like that. There we go. Okay, that's good. I can save and change it live, which is always good, um, which means I may have to... Uh... Bookmark this too. This is going to be another. Um... Uh, stream elements. So that's what I'm going to have to use. Okay. And that can be literally right next to this. So now I have all of this, I have all of that done, um, and okay. So I need to go, unfortunately, because I am uh, responsible for driving today, so I will let you guys all go. Um, sorry for the impromptu stream, I know I set up a lot of stuff in this. Ooh. Um, I will probably see about, I mean, because I'll have a shorter day today, I can probably see about... Um, uh, doing another stream when I get home. Um, so we'll have to see. But, hey, like I can take a look down there and see all you. Which is good, because technically speaking, that means, um, what I can do is take the popped out chat that I actually have, and I can drop that in the corner. And so then when I'm looking down, it makes it look like I'm looking at chat. Even though right now, it, give me a second. There we go. Now I can like look down and make it look like I'm looking at chat, or at least looking over. I don't know. It's not really doing the the eyes thing up and down. I'm gonna have to go and uh, change that. But hey, we got stuff coming up soon. But uh, there is one good thing that is popping up soon, um, and I've been keeping an eye on it. Uh, I know I have a week left on it, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. But just before, quickly before I leave, um, I did do a bit of a poll, um, just for everybody that is in uh, chat right now to kind of anonymously vote on. Um, uh, there it is. Oh, oh, ah, okay. Now what I wanted. Too much stuff happened all at once. Uh, okay, let's try that again, because... Okay, come on. Thank you. Lead me to clicky. There we go. Okay. Um, just to share my screen a bit, before I go, okay? I have this up. Um, I will drop a link in chat to it. Um, this is just... If you want me to, um, that's this, uh, that's this. Um, so if you want to go ahead and, uh, um, go ahead and vote, it looks like most people, <laughs> I've had no one say no. So it looks like most of you want to see me struggle and make a, uh, a new avatar, which should be fun. Um, a lot of you just don't have an opinion, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I will be going off of the people that either answer yes or no. So it looks like uh, a lot of you have decided that, um, because uh, I voted that the, um, I don't have an opinion because I just don't. Um, so uh, it's either yes or no, and basically the more people that, that sort of vote on this, the, the more that I'll, I'm likely to do it. But even with it, what it is right now, with pretty much out of everybody who said no, um, or, or responded with an opinion, um, you would like to see me make an avatar live on Twitch. Um, well, now I know what you voted, but uh, that means that you're, you're here to see me struggle. So not only will I be, of course, going through more of this, and um, right now I think we're, we're talking about memory management because we were talking about when setter and getter is not called, and... Uh, Do more than just hold data yet and perform validation. You, this may also, so yeah, set will you know. I think it 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 um when you call get it does the set value, 
um, and so you can set it up this way. Um, But there's 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 other stuff that I need to go through and read through. Uh, but unfortunately, I have to go and um, uh, get ready to take my spells. Uh, the witch. Um, do a few places so we will uh, catch you. I will catch you guys all later. Um, thank you guys so much for coming by and enjoying me in what was absolutely not what I was intending to do. Um, but hey, we have a chat now that you guys can all see. Um, so uh, yeah, you're you're on screen. Um, I could even take that and like artificially expand that uh, just so that, you know, it's it's more there. Um, but depending on where it goes, it will show up on. Oh, I should probably also do this. Whoop. Hi, um, I should add that browser scene to this. And uh, I could probably even add that above me um, just so that it's happening over my head. Uh, and that way, all of you know what is happening on stream. Um, so, yeah. So that way it's happening above me at all times. Um, but yeah, so you can just like, you know, uh, post stuff now. Uh, kind of wanted to have that on there for a while. Um, wasn't really sure what I was going to do uh, regarding it, but it is just a little bit of opacity there uh, to make things easy. Um, just to sort of uh, uh, allow people to uh, do whatever they want. Um, the one thing that I have considered doing, here we go, chat overlay. I wonder, because now, yeah, now I go over it. Okay, I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, I can I can move things around live. This is, this is great. I love this. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I will catch you guys all later. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, this is, this is coming. Um, Godot is downloaded and it does run. Um, it's just a matter of me going through um like the overview of concepts step by step um and then of course through the step by step i'm going through of course nodes and creating instances um that can go so anyway i will catch you guys all later take care bye